Okay, here is just a step where I did solder the power wires underneath the ESC and this is how it looks like. I put this on there to hold them in place while I solder them and um, yeah, still a lot to go. I did not get the motors yet so I cannot do the wiring for them. But I did order some um, plastic protection uh, tubes, self-adhesive, and I ordered them in two lengths. I have a lang longer one that will go on the back and the shorter one will go to the front and then I will wire and solder it. I also have uh, LEDs. Neopixels that will go underneath the <coughs> excuse me underneath the arm again protected by these shields and I'm even going as far as design a plug for that so once the neopixels are mounted on the bottom I can plug this side in so no dirt will get in uh, on this side obviously I will have the wires coming out so cannot do nothing there and this is just holding the VTX in place so I can solder it and um, yeah I still have to wire in the GPS connect the camera wire cable again back to the VTX and uh, oh yes what I did use is <clears throat> um, I actually screwed in from the bottom and used these standoffs, 6mm standoffs. So that way I have a base again raised to give room for the wires here. And then the VTX will screw in from the top so I can easily unscrew the VTX if I have to. And uh, <clears throat> so it won't go through. And I don't have to use any other distance uh, spacers because these have obviously threads in them and they stay in place when I screw them in from the bottom and then the VTX screws in from the top. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course, this is a way too much um, worrying or thinking about the wiring, but I just like things to be neat. Um, just a habit sometimes a bad habit and uh, anyway that's it and I have also the receiver down here and I did design another piece here for the receiver to sit in and that bottom piece is also screwed down here which you can see here are the screws well you can't see because anyway here are the screws for the VTX, uh, not for the VTX, for this piece here to stay in place because normally it just uh, mm, squished in there. So that way they don't move anywhere and I have cleaned up the clamps where the antenna goes and that's smaller. And anyway, as you see, I have uh, got rid of most of the uh, yellow TPU pieces. These are silicone. I will leave that. I will not mess around with it. That's the 4K camera, the walk snail, and this has 4K DVR. So that's I think is a huge plus. So you don't have to mount a big GoPro on here. And um, yes, so this is it so far. I will keep you updated once I get to the next step and stay tuned okay here I have my custom edited and printed holder for the receiver and antenna and that's the original part which of course these big holes were not needed at all and wouldn't have it really worked with it and the receiver was just laying in there and now it's in here 
unfortunately I had to take it out because these wires in case you wanna um, copy my build not copy but if you wanna do it the same way um, you have to extend the wires for the receiver because they just come up about here and it's gonna be doesn't reach the top to be soldered and uh, unfortunately it would be nice if these pins would be on the back and uh, I don't know that's the indicator for the uh, direction of the drone and I don't know why they put the pins on the front of it when everybody as far as I saw puts the receiver on the back so anyway um, if you're interested I will share this STL file and I use these um, three millimeters uh, spacers well they're six millimeter high but they're M3 spacers which I drilled out so because this one gets just it slides in and then holds with those two screws that are essentially here these ones there and uh, I wanted something to have a more stable so I did this and that holds it in place like I showed before so anyway I have to extend these wires uh, I have this wire from the GPS module that goes from here till here or oh, and the GPS I'm not sure, let me check real quick where the GPS gets connected GPS <laughs> and the GPS is on the back but um, okay I saw many people put the GPS on the back I just think you have too many signals here on the back anyway so with the VTX and the receiver and uh, that way I have the nice small GPS this one here link to all parts in the description that goes in here that gets uh, it's gonna get a shrink wrap uh, shrink tube as well so that will go from here to here and I think I can spare some wires oh no it's not gonna be enough but I do have my own wires silicone wires like these are and I will just extend this and then put it in I have to wire it through the bottom of the um, ESC it's I think called and come up here and solder in here and then I will tackle the GPS along with the cable to the VTX that I will route also underneath here and the VTX goes where okay the VTX goes here and that will come up here and go there so anyway on to the next step okay so far so good I did connect the ESC the flight controller ESC to the, the flight controller to the PC and open the beta flight app and it did get recognized right away it did gave me a warning that the accelerometer wasn't um, calibrated obviously first time plugging it in anyway let's uh, disconnect it so i can give you a closer look at my wiring so this is it where do i start okay here i have the receiver heat shrinked and heat shrink tube here is the binding button i haven't combined it to my receiver or to my transmitter to my radio yet 
uh, anyway the GPS is also installed uh, it has the LED on the bottom but uh, the shrink wrap makes it light up like around it so I will see when I get a signal and um, here is the wiring I put the wires for the VTX down here underneath and then comes up and then gets soldered there that's the receiver this is the GPS um, I didn't want to run it down here because I don't know how I'm gonna wire up the motors yet so for now I have it like that I might change it and I will also 3d print covers for this <clears throat> and I understand oops that on the Walksley Moonlight kit I only need this connection when I want to upgrade the firmware but I will plug it in just to for now uh, protect the inputs from any dirt or whatever I mean I'm flying it I'm not crashing it I might take it off but I might just leave it in and overall so far I think it is a clean wiring so the next part will be well I think wait for the motors and after that I will um, do the LEDs I got different strips I have the strips without the connector some do have a connector on both sides and I didn't want to use those and some of them only four white some of them are six and these are eight and the good thing is I can and these go in here I have the let me turn the TV off there it's distracting um, I do have some uh, NeoPixel sticks like that myself but the wiring is on the bottom the solder pads and I wanted to have the solder pads on the top so I can stick it in here and then it will go underneath the arms like so and uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run the NeoPixel strip sticks from the flight controller or if I'm just gonna run it from my own small Arduino board which has a Bluetooth module attached to it so I could uh, still control it through my phone if I want to and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna as I said connect it to the flight controller or not because the, I think the flight controller even though it has many features for the new pixels it's not what I'm looking for I have some other animations in mind and I'm not sure if I can make those happen in better flight <clears throat> so but I will decide on that that's the last thing I mean least important thing before I have to get the motors on have it wired and uh, spend some time on the simulator so I won't crash this right away so this is it for this segment uh, I guess the next segment I might make a segment with the radio and the goggles that I got for this and uh, then wait for the motors to arrive so anyway stay tuned <laughs> 